Hi there, and welcome back to yet another great episode of Mind Power. My name is Bryce L. Tomlinson from NewDepthMedia.com, and today I'm going to show you how to add the Group Policy Editor to your home version of Windows 7 or Windows 8. Uh, most people know that, um, or some people know that uh, if you are using a pro or enterprise version of Windows 7 or 8, you are able to use the group policy editor to do some very powerful system administration, policy editing, and uh, things like that. This is one of the main things that is missing, uh, along with several other uh, just general tweaks to the operating system that aren't just uh, available up front on the operating system of Windows 7 and Windows 8 if you've got the home basic or home premium version. Anyway, the group policy editor adds some important, uh, powerful features to your system if you can get it. So uh, let's get to it. Anyway, what you'll need to get the uh, group policy editor added to your system is go to www majorgeeks.com forward slash files forward slash details forward slash add underscore group underscore policy underscore editor dot html <clears throat> that link will be in the description of this video so you can click on that and take you right there and uh, once you get there you can uh, see the description of this it tells you exactly what, the, what they're doing and uh, basically it says one of our forum members Dave HC has compiled a tool, GP Edit Installer, that allows you to add GP Edit MSC to Windows versions that don't have it. So um, basically, they compiled their own thing that allows you to add that back into the operating system. And uh, we'll show you how that works. So from here, you just go to the download location. Uh, I'm going to download it right from majorgeeks.com. And it's going to take me to that page. It's going to automatically download it. <clears throat> And once you get there, you will have the uh, GPEI zip file there. You can just extract it, extract all. And I'm going to extract it right to my downloads folder. And once you have extracted it, it'll open it right up. Then you just basically right click on the GP Edit installer and run as administrator. It's going to ask you if you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to this computer. I'm going to click yes. And once you do that, it's going to say welcome to the MS uh, gpedit.msc setup wizard. Click next and install it. It's going to run a little command prompt window to uh, basically copy the files into their important locations. Click finish. Now, um, I have a start menu because I've added classic shell to my system. I think you guys have heard me talk about that before and uh, you can just search for something right from here so if I typed in gpedit.msc on this system it's only going to show me the installer uh, that's not what I'm looking for I can go over the charms thing and from here again gpedit.msc and it's not going to show me anything it just shows me nothing um, so I'll go back to the desktop, and from here, um, I, I really can't I really can't search for anything to find it, but I'll show you right where it's going to put it. So uh, in the OS C drive, the C drive, go into your Windows folder, and down here you will find the SysWow64 folder, and down here, if you just scroll way down, of course you got to scroll way down, or you can just search up there. Uh, once you get down there to where the file is, there it is, GP Edit. You can double click on that. And it's going to ask you if you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to this computer, and you'll click Yes. So from here, uh, you have your group policy editor open. I'm not going to go into how it's used or uh, any of the more advanced functions of it, just to say this is how you're going to get it. Uh, this is a preface to my uh, video that's upcoming that, uh, that'll be the next video that you see on this channel where I'm going to show you how to use the group policy editor to edit the group policies on Google Chrome so that you can enable or disable the incognito mode. So for those of you that are interested in internet safety for your family, for instance, you might not want the uh, 
You might not want the kids hiding their browsing tracks and stuff like that, which they might do in incognito mode, which they'll probably definitely do in incognito mode. The group policy editor allows you to get into the uh, those settings on uh, Google Chrome, and I'll show you how to do that next time right here on MindPower. So make sure that you click that subscribe button up there at the top of the screen. There's uh, There should be a previous video link on the left so left corner of your screen and a next video on the right corner. So when that video becomes available, you'll just click right there and it'll take you right to it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll hope to see you next time right here on MindPower.